Hello and welcome to PocketGamer.biz's Monetizer. This is a feature where we look at various free-to-play mobile games and just have a look at the monetization they use and some of the um, user experience um, kind of techniques and tricks that games are currently using. Um, so the game we're looking at today is, um, as you can see, a strategy game. It's called Dawn um, of Steel, um, and it's published by a um, German publisher called uh, Flare Games and developed by a, um, a US startup um, called Super Weapon, who um, they're kind of, as, as these startups tend to be these days, kind of a veterans of, of console PC games and know what they're doing when it comes to strategy games. Um, so these two companies have been working together um, for quite a long time actually. I mean, the game has been in soft launch, was in soft launch for, for um, a number of months as well. So as you can see, I've just started off. So <laughs> if we zoom out, a pretty pathetic little base really to be starting off with. But um, uh, as we no, from games like Clash of Clans, so so um, mobile strategy is a pretty big genre, uh, and if you have success in this genre, you can make a lot of money. Um, so let's go through some of the kind of gameplay and some of the monetization that this game has. Um, so we can see, as we expect with um, strategy games, I guess let's start from the top here. Um, so there's some resources. In this case, there's four different resources. So there's um, this is battle points. So you kind of earn these by doing battles. You have two soft currencies. Um, so soft currencies are ones you don't buy, um, but you kind of like earn them during the game. In this case, via resources. So there's plasma, there's pink stuff, and credits. Um, so we can see here, I've got sort of like some plasma that I just collect. That's going up, and then I've got these credit. These ships go off and do things to get your credit. Nice little animation there. So you can see the game. 3D model. It's not a 3D camera, but it's um. Certainly a step up from um, Clash of Clans. Clash of Clans is, you know, what how many years old now? Um, so no surprising there. Um, so we've got a little, our little base here. Um, we've got resources. So we have a hard currency, of course. That's where you spend money. The influence in this case. So usual situation. So we have um, different in, different amounts of influence we can buy, ranging from where are we? That's is four pounds. Um, so I guess that's kind of getting for five dollars, isn't it? The uh, that's the cheapest one. Then going up to a um, hundred dollars, eighty pounds, um, and we can see as you, as typically happens, as you spend more money, you get more for your dollar or pound. So if you buy the spend the most, if you buy the most, you get forty percent more than if you um, <coughs> bought the equivalent time multiple of, of the cheapest one. There's all that stuff's pretty standard um, so far. Um, so let's kind of see uh, what we're doing in the game. So um, it's kind of nice. Uh, with a lot of these strategy games, they kind of they kind of the issue a lot of them have is control really. So we're in a touch screen. Um, we haven't got like a like a mouse keyboard control. We can't easily control a um, large number of troops um, kind of successfully. Um, so in many games like like um, I guess more by the Clash of Clans, you kind of have to just basically have a tank rush, a wall rush, and you just have you build a massive army and you just let it go and it kind of does what it does, you don't have much control over it. This game is pretty different in the sense that it's much more um, kind of granular. So let's go and have a look at our mechs. So it's a mech game. Um, so obviously you can have more, unlock more, but um, it's pretty, it's pretty, um, the units are impressive but you have a few of them. So at the moment I've only got two. Um, they've, been, they've been out on a mission so I need to repair them. So there we go. So I can repair um, different times. It's going to like a lot of these games. Are, I have to do basic repair using my plasma. It's going to take a minute. This guy here, he obviously didn't take any damage at all. He's a bit of a bigger one. Um, but of course, with with these kind of mechs, we can customize them. So we can buy, spend some of our. Um, this is hard currency to have a pink one. <laughs> Quite well, I want to do that. I don't know. Um, um, a bit, what's a bit more interesting is research. So I've researched. I can upgrade to, to my weapon. Let's see if I can research a chain gun. So that's sixty thousand battle points. Not even quite. Not even close to that. Um, not even a third. This one is oh, it's an ability slot, so I can unlock a rig um, for more customization. So that's twenty thousand. Let's see. Yeah, I can do that. So let's, uh, let's get that started. So that's going to take ten minutes. Um, so we kind of get an idea about what, kind of what we're doing, how we're kind of upgrading our. Um, Repairing, upgrading, customizing our, our our units that will make them more effective in battle. But these things um, are taking the soft currency or hard currency, and they're taking time to do as well. So load out. Um, so at this point, I can unlock an ability, but obviously to do that, I have to what I've just done with the other rig. Um, 
so that's kind of a nice uh, kind of a user interface to show me what I'm doing so that's in the hangar this is in this building here um, another nice thing you can do, actually do see if I can do it um, so obviously you can, you can up you can uh, move things around you can upgrade them again so it's an upgrade it's going to take um, a certain amount of soft currency so it's going to take battle um, hard currency or soft currency Obviously, I don't think I have enough. I haven't got enough resources, so do I want to use a hard currency to fill up the gap? That was a typical monetization technique. It takes 15 minutes to upgrade. Um, but it's a nice thing, little thing. I can test my defenses. So this is very early in the game. My defenses are not very strong at all. So um, let's see what happens. Um, so this is if another player, I presume, is going to attack my base or. Uh, Oh, so I'm actually going to attack it. So this is actually quite nice. Some other games have done this, but um, so I'm going to deploy and attack my own base. <laughs> so this gives you a sense of the gameplay. So I've got these are my two rigs. So off they go. These are big lumbering massive things. Um, I've only got two turrets, and you can see as I move them forward, they have, each have a special ability. So this is the special ability this one has. So when we're in range, that goes blue. Probably can't see it. It's going to fire off its laser. So this one's coming up, let's see it's special ability is so special ability was used, that's kind of turned down, it's timed out, so this one can fire multiple missiles. So let's get them all in action. As you can see my base is not very powerful at all. Or my rigs are more powerful than my base, depending on how you want to see it. So there's these little drone guys coming out to um not really do much damage. But you basically get the idea. Um so I can probably just end that there. Do want to retreat from this battle, yeah. So we're gonna go back. So that's uh, quite a nice thing. You get uh, an idea of if you're when your base is much stronger, um, bigger, kind of any any weak points. So um, obviously to do a, a proper battle, we have to go into the battle mode or go into the the, the, the map mode. So here we go. Uh, so it's quite nice, kind of um, the way you zoom in. So it zooms in into. So these are these are battles I've won. It's gonna uh, so I could do that. I could have a quick scout to see what's going on in that one if I want to do that that mission. Obviously, if you attack um, the bases, you kind of um, gain some soft currency. So you can see that is um, not particularly strong base either. Not much stronger. My base has got these two these two kind of guns. So if I attack, I'm gonna use up a bit of bit of credit but not hardly very much at all. Um, I can see the available loot I'm going to get. Um, let's not do that for the time being. So you get the idea that the, the, the actual the gameplay I think is is um, is pretty nice um, for, the, for this game. The monetization I think is fairly standard um, so they're not trying to kind of reinvent anything um, it's kind of the kind of you're gated on, on time for, for, for up, update you know, upgrading things um, and, and doing some research. So I um, upgraded my actually I've got this upgraded my rig. So I'm gonna get a bit of um, a bit of hard currency, a bit of a you know, this achievement kind of kind of system. Um, again here, I can't really do much at the moment, but these are as I as I get further in the game, I can have missile launchers and tank spawners and um, different kind of um, these are different. Uh, buildings I can put in my base. Obviously, these are again are kind of gated with my command rank because I've just started out. My command rank is pretty pathetic, it has to be said. I've built, I have two credit docks and two plasma extractors. Already built those. I could build some walls if you really. I'm not very keen on walls really, but I can build 50 walls at some point. Probably have to do that to protect my base. So you kind of get the idea of what's going on on on, on with. Uh, Dawn of Steel, um, in a sense, not radical, not anything radical that we haven't seen before, but um, a kind of a well put together game, I think. Um, obviously, as you go further in, you can do the, the whole kind of clan alliance type stuff as well, um, which is where a lot of the long term um, benefit or long term retention of the game happens. Um, I guess the interesting thing to see is, is, is it's a very competitive genre, and there's loads of games always being released in the in the strategy genre. So, if you're a strategy fan, you're probably overwhelmed with games, and there's only really one or two you're going to be playing. Um, probably in, in the long term. So um, I think this is pretty interesting. I mean, I'm quite into strategy games um, and I give this one a whirl. I think it's a bit different just having a few units, having kind of lots of units 
um, it's a, a different approach um, so uh, hopefully uh, it'll find a some sort of audience um, obviously on the site we'll be we'll be covering it in, in more detail and, and seeing kind of if it finds a new audience but there we are that's a monetization uh, monetizer for uh, this time come back uh, we'll be doing some more games plenty more games to be um, to be checking out so uh, come back and stick with our YouTube channel see you then bye